What is going on guys, today I'm going to show you how to make very basic materials in Unreal 4. I will show how to do more advanced materials in a different video, but right now I'm just going to show how to do very basic materials that I have done, as you can see in front of you. I've made gold, well, as much as I can do with gold by not doing advanced texturing, and if it goes, plastic, no advanced texturing, but very basic materials, a plastic texture, a chrome texture that doesn't reflect the sky map for some reason, um, I don't know why, and a very matte like for curtains or rubber or rubber rubber is very matte something like that now I'm going to show you how to just make a very simple material today I'm not actually going to detail to use textures to make a very advanced looking material I will do that in the next episode right so in if you have started up with a starter content I would suggest just using this straight that out and using um this object to do your materials on because it just I don't know, it's a very nice object to just work from, especially when you have the contrast of this part that it doesn't actually need to be applied to. Alright, so I've got my basic materials there. Now, delete that folder quick, that was just a test I did beforehand. Okay, so when you're starting your game, when you want to make a new folder or anything, just right click on whichever. So if you want it to be in the game folder, right click there. If you want it to be in the folder that you want, just right click the folder that you want it to be in and click new folder. So I want it to be in the game folder, new folder, I'm going to call it. Um, new materials. All right, that did not work. We'll leave it as new folder. No, no, let me test materials. Enter. There we go. Test materials. It's gone under T. Um, let me minimize that. And then right click in this box here and click material, and it will start creating material for you. And we're just going to call it test because we're going to change it as we go along to um, show you guys how to get textures to look different. So if you double click that. You'll get this come up. I've got mine in full screen. You don't have to have it in full screen. You can have it anywhere you want. You can like sit it. Uh, if you click there, you can actually sit it in tabs and stuff. But I don't want to do that. Hopefully, they won't join one digger. Don't want to do that. I just want to have it as a full screen. So I always work on full screen. Uh, a good tip when you're actually um, putting textures on something or material, should I say, on site, is if I go back to the prop I had, if I click on it, and I and I full screen this quick. So I've clicked on it in the outline. If I click this teapot, it will actually have that. If I um, click Alt and then Middle Mouse, I can go up. It will actually have that object or asset as your preview. And I think that's really helpful when actually um, applying materials to site because you can actually see what it will look like on the material, especially when you're dealing with um, normal maps or ambient occlusion maps or something like that. Cause you can actually see how they're being applied. All right, so first we're going to make a... Um, a let's make a metal material. I don't know what I'm going to go for yet. I'll just mess around and see what we can get. All right. So what you want to do first is hold free and then left click. If you slightly move when you left click, oh, I'm going to try to slightly move. It won't. Ah, it's coming up for me. It won't come up if you slightly move sometimes because I've had people come up to me and say it's not working. I just make sure I keep the mouse still and left click and it'll come up. All right. So all you got to do, yep, hold free, left click, and you get this box up. So what this is, it's, it is a constant free vector, and what this does is it using RGB channel, each one of those channels being its own vector, whatever, each, like, because there's three of them, red, green, blue, you can click this constant value here, and then you change the color of it to whatever you want. Um, let's go for a bronzy color. Now, bronze is a little bit harder to get than gold, because gold is literally just sort of down here, and you make it slightly orange, tilt, tinted. Uh, more yellow you mess around but I want to go for bronze so it needs to be a bit more of a brown if I can get the right tone I think that might be fine it's more of a copper should I say oh I'm connected yet so yeah, now you gotta click that and connect it to the base color because that's gonna be the color of your object that's gonna turn out more of a copper I might actually even have to make it darker but we'll see because when you in the um, this is PBR. This is now PBR and Unreal Three. Uh, yeah, Unreal Four. Sorry, in Unreal Four, this is PBR. Um, whenever you turn something into a metal and everything using the node editor, it tends to make it darker. So I tend to have my actual albedo maps or my base color maps to be a bit lighter, a bit brighter, a bit more washed out. Because when you start applying all your roughness and metallic, it actually gets a bit darker. So let's. So if you hold one and left click, you get a constant value. And what this value does, it's either black or white. Um, you just increase the number. So I increase it a little bit. If I open this um, up, so you click that drop down and show you the actual map. And the more I increase it, the more white it will get. This isn't connected yet. I don't know why this is changing. It's not connected yet. Uh, and basically, if I, oh, I don't want it to be above one. You want it to go from zero to one. Unless you're doing an emission map, then you want it to be above it because it will start to emit light as soon as it reaches above one. 
Alright, so you connect that up, and we want to do metal metallic map first, shall I say. Now, in a metallic map, white means metal, zero means plastic. So as you can see, that looks like a bit of a metal right now. And if I set that back to zero, it looks like a plastic or just a non-metal. It doesn't have to be plastic, rubber, anything that's not a metal, obviously. So if I set that back to one, it goes back to a metal. Now we've got that map done, so let's just minimize these and keep this out of the way. Now we need to do a roughness map. Now these are the three main maps you need to do to make a very basic material. So if I, I want to do another constant value. And with a metallic map, it doesn't matter if you go any value in between. Because a metallic map, well, you're not supposed to go in any value between. As you can see, it is actually making a difference. But you're supposed to do it as a binary thing. So you're supposed to either do 0 or 1. That's it. When you actually have a, a map that you've drawn out yourself for your material for your um, prop, it will either be black or white. You don't want it to be in between those gaps because an object is either metal or it's not metal. And this object is metal. Well, we want it to look metal, so we want it to be put as a one. Now we want to connect up the roughness. It's on zero at the moment, and zero is black. Black means shiny, basically shiny and smooth. If I set that to one. It will make it very, very, it will, it's still a metal, but very, very dull. Like if I set that to a zero and put black to a non-metal, it'll be a bit lighter. Like I said, when it comes to metal maps, it actually makes the object darker. But yeah, no shine on it at all. There's no light shining on that. Well, a very slight bit just so you can actually get a shade. But other than that, there's no light shining on it. Let's put it back to one. It looks like there's even less light shining on it. And we want to we want it to be a metal, and all metals. You can have rough metals. So we'll quickly do a rough metal. Get a very rough metal. Um, that's just the small worn away metals, metals that have just got uh, been worn over time. How? Let's say we've got a more polished metal. So we set it to darker, and you have an extremely shiny metal. So let's quickly apply that. So we're gonna do is click apply. There we go. Now I haven't applied it to my object yet, so if I go to what I made, test materials, it'll be in here. All you gotta do is left click that and drag it onto whatever you want it to apply to. So as you can see, for some reason, it again is not reflecting sky. I don't think now it is either, but anyways, I don't think any of them are, but as you can see that it is now very similar to the actual um metal map, but it's a bit more smoother. It's got um show the the gold the gold texture, very similar, but it's a bit more smoother, as you can tell from this one. It's a lot more rough and this one's a lot more smoother. Now, if I want to mess around with that, now that's already applied to it, all I've got to do is open the window back up. Let's have it as a small window so I can show you guys. What you got to do is if I want to mess with it, like say, I want to make it less shiny. So you can see the little preview up here. And if you click apply, it will automatically apply that to the scene because it's already applied to the object. There we go. And now it's a bit more rougher. And now if I go even more, 0.7 and click apply it will be even more rough when it does it there we go and that doesn't even look like a copper anymore that just not sure what kind of material that looks like but yeah and then if you want to now make a plastic so I'll quickly extend this window a little bit more so I can show you if you now want to make a plastic so let's say we want to change the color we want to make it green plastic not even a plastic, just something that's non-metal, should I say. But let's try to get a plastic look. Zero. Because it's not going to be metal anymore. Don't even need to ma uh, map open, it just stay as that. And we want it to be shiny. Let's have a shiny one. So, like, um, just like a toy, plastic toy, as you can see there. And if I click apply, duh, 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 that will now apply it to this material. And as you can see, it looks much more plastic than it does gold. So if I do change this, it will look like a um, a green like metallic texture. There you go. That actually does look pretty cool. I have to say, but yeah. So, but I want it to look plastic. So put it to zero in a metal map. Click apply. It loads. There you go. And I have a metal map. And if I want to make it even more shiny, like that blue over there, I had. And what it does when it's um it will reflect more and it just make all of it a lot more sharper and if I want to make it more dull but not like a curtain or anything still like a let's see what it looks like it's not gonna really look like a, maybe just a rough plastic there you go 
And if I minimize this, you can see it. Anyways, so that is how you make pretty much any simple texture. Gold, silver, bronze. You just go through your colors. Go through, make it metal in the metal map. So one or vice versa. Um, change your roughness to make it look more like the metal. Or with plastic, same sort of thing. Base color, non-metal, and then roughness. And that is how you make your very basic materials in Unreal. Now, for the next video, I'm going to show how to make a material more like this one. This is actually one that comes with the program, but I'll just show you an example, and I'm going to actually show you how to apply textures, um, normal maps, and ambient occlusion to your actual objects. Thank you for watching, and if this video helped you out, leave a thumbs up. It's really helpful. Leave a suggestion in the comments for something that you might need. It. You can't find it there, and you need me to quickly help you with it, like for a video, not one-on-one. -on -one. Um, but yeah, once again, thank you for watching and bye-bye.